Dear customer, you are recommended to watch this video which describes the issues that are required to be considered during or before commissioning our boosters. The starting pressure of booster to be commissioning on the video is 5.8 bar. The pressure of the expansion tank for this booster is required to be set at 5.2, 10% lower than the starting pressure of the booster. Check to prevent the air leak of the expansion tank by spraying foam on the welded parts and screwed connections. Also check the value on the pressure gauge to see if tank is pre-charged or needs pressurizing for required working conditions. Connect one end of the flexible hose of the inlet port on the delivery manifold of booster. Connect the other end under the expansion tank by putting the gasket and tighten it. Connect the power cables with suitable diameter selection from the mains, the grounding cable and motor grounding cables to the grounding bar, and the three-phase power supply cables to the fuse. Make sure that your clip screws are tightened enough. Make sure that the pipeline from the main tank to the suction manifold does not have many elbows and is not longer than 3 meters. Otherwise, make sure that it is greater than the diameter of the suction port of the pump. Open the valves on the suction manifold. Check water inlet from the tank to the booster and be sure that water is running through pump suction. Open the air discharge valves by using a screwdriver and discharge the air in both pumps and re-tighten air discharge valves. Remove the coupling guard and make sure that the motor main shaft turns in the correct direction by pushing the test button on the panel. You will see the direction arrow sign on the pump. Run the booster by pushing the automatic buttons on the panel. Observe the pressure on pressure gauge and check if the pressure of the system increasing. Fix the float switch at the edge of the tank so that it will be half meter above from the bottom of the water storage tank. Remind responsible technician and manager of the building that they should never change the level of float switch from the original position.